mean, actually, I was with someone the other day uh, who was part of the team that started looking for a new stadium back in 2003, and that was with Tom Adam and Roger Hopkinson and a bunch of guys who probably people are totally unaware of, but have put a lot of work into the early stages, and it's developed and grown and changed. And, and um, now there's too many to name, uh, but um, it's, a, it's been a communal joint effort and a fantastic effort too. And for yourself now, you'll be that's what you'll be heading up now. You'll be working on this until it's completed. Yeah, uh, I mean, Joe's picked up, or he's picked up the day-to-day -day activities of the football club, except football. Uh, and he's, um, because of his commercial marketing background, he's doing a lot of the stuff around the design and how we will operate the new stadium and to maximise the income from it. And that's only right, because it wouldn't be right for... Um, new stadium to be run to my design and my spec and me walking away saying hey I'll go and get over with it so uh, that has to be the right way and, and I'm sure it'll be a massive success and of course we've got Council Alan Brittis down here as well yes. today there's so much that this is going to do to the community in the area around here yeah I think without exception wherever they've built a new stadium it's called in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a in a city it's caused regeneration of a big scale and that's what's going to happen here too I'm absolutely certain of it this place will be thriving and it's great it's not just for Merton well, that's our home borough but also it gets across the road into literally just across the road into into Wandsworth um, and both boroughs will, will benefit from it dramatically and of course we remember the Plough Lane of old, but coming back here now you've got such a, a whole generation that have missed out on seeing Wimbledon play in Plough Lane like we've seen today with the youngsters coming down here. Absolutely, I think it's, um, by the time we open it will be 28 years since we last played at Plough Lane, so being realistic you'd have to be about 35 to remember it. Uh, my sons do, but, but barely, they're of that sort of age, a bit more. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a new place for lots of people and actually one of the big things about it is that when we attract the new fans from around here, so I'm sure we will, that they understand the history and where we came from and why we're fan zoned and why it's so important for us to stay fan zoned. So there's a lot of work to be done on the, on the spreading the culture, spreading the message, which is a key part of the next, well, forever really, but in particular the next 18 months. Just to finish off, how good was it when that uh, digger made that crunching noise getting into the, into the foundations here, getting work underway? Oh, massively envious. Uh, wouldn't you want to be the guy or lady who's, uh, who's, who's whacking that wall and knocking it down? I mean, it's, it's the grown-up equivalent to jumping in puddles, I think. Um, uh, yeah, it's not great. Uh, and what a, uh, I'm told it's a very skillful job. Um, so you can't just get in there and, and hit things, but um, well, wouldn't it be nice to do that ourselves? Absolutely, Eric. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. My pleasure.